All right, guys, here is today's lesson. Lesson 2.7, interpreting the remainder. Here's our problem. Hilda Walker has 721 students. All are required to take a bus. Each bus holds 54 people. How many buses are needed? Okay, well, that is a division problem. So I got 721 students. I'm going to divide that by my 54 student capacity bus. So I say, can 7 be divided by 54? No, it cannot. Can 72 be divided by 54? Yes, it can, one time. So, 54 times one is 54. Subtract that out. And I bring down the one. So I have 181. I'm gonna do a little guessing and checking. 50 times three is 150. So let's see what 54 times three is. Oops. 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Hey, that'll work. So I'm going to put 3 up here, and then subtract 54 times 3 is 162. 7 minus 6 is 1. So I have 13 remainder, 19. So how many buses will I need? Well, do I call the bus company and say, I need 13 buses, remainder 19? That doesn't make any sense. So that remainder is gonna tell me that I need another bus. So my actual answer to how many buses are needed, if there are 721 students and each bus can hold 54 people, I can't tell the company I need 13 buses, remainder 19. So my answer is I'm gonna need 14 buses. Now stay tuned, I'm going to do one more problem. Okay, this is part two. Second question. I have 17 bars of chocolate. I want to share the bars equally with three friends. I don't want any. I'm going to give them 17 bars to my three friends. But I want to do it equally. How many bars does each friend get? Again, this is a division problem. So I have my 17 bars of chocolate, and I'm gonna divide that by my three friends. Well, I know my times table, so three times five is 15. So I subtract 15 from 17, and I get two. There are no other numbers to bring down, so my remainder goes up here. So my answer, of course, how many bars of chocolate do they get? Well, that's five bars remainder two. Now, wait a minute. That's silly. I can't say, okay, guys, each one of you gets five bars remainder two. That doesn't make any sense. So I need to interpret that remainder. Here, I can say, well, that's five whole bars. If I take my remainder, my remainder of two, and I put that over my divisor, then my answer is I will give each one of them five and two thirds of a bar. So it depends on the question. The question says, how much will they get equally? Well, by putting my remainder over my divisor, I can say each friend will get five and two thirds bar. Now, some questions in the homework may say, how many whole bars of chocolate will they get? Or how many whole whatevers will they get? In that case, the answer would be five because there are only five whole bars. This question says, how much will they get equally? So it's five and two thirds of a bar. I hope that helps. Have a good night.